Okay, so uh, I just wanted to do like a debrief and talk a little bit a little bit about um, the streaming the techno set in VR. Um, so first, just got to give a big shout out to uh, Ohm Three. Uh, you could check out his music. I'll post a link in the description. Um, he actually built this club by hand um, and then put the event together and then also uh, invited all of his friends to this to this private event. So there was a ton of people in there. Uh, it was invite only and the other people, uh, if you wanted to bring someone else in, you had to know somebody. So it's kind of like real life, which is really cool uh, for, for an event like this. But, um, so the first stream he did, he told me there was about five or 600 people in the, in the room, which was really, really, it's really impressive. Um, so for this event, when we went in there, um, he said there wasn't quite that many people, um, but it was actually kind of a good thing because we ran into a bunch of hitches. Um, so just for my setup, I didn't, I don't have a PC and my iMac is, uh, from 2015 and i believe it doesn't have a discrete graphics card it's got you know that built-in iris graphics card or whatever with the cpu um which is definitely not up to scratch for vr or gaming or anything like that um so i boot camped windows and uh got vr chat and so that was my intro into this vr thing and so i get in the room and uh, everything is like the frame rates terrible and, you know, but that's, that's on me. Um, and so the other hitches we ran into, uh, when it was my turn, my turn to stream and play, uh, the server, I guess the, uh, what did you call it? The CD, CDN content delivery network, I think is what it stands for. Um, it kept booting me off and Initially, we thought it was on my end, but it turns out it was on on their end. Um, so yeah, I mean, just running into hitches, but you know everybody stayed cool and calm through the whole thing. And um, he actually threw up a setup on there so he could play music while everybody was waiting. And it's funny because everybody was actually waiting in virtual reality for for my portion to start. Um, but you can check out that entire set on Twitch. I'll post a link there. Uh, in the description, and then you can see uh, Ohm 3 play as well as uh, Lamp DX, uh, who did a DJ set, and then uh, it was Ohm 3 again, just running tracks while we were troubleshooting, and then uh, myself, which I also just posted my segment on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so a couple of things because I've had a bunch of people ask to get invited to the next show. Uh, so to address that, uh, definitely anybody that's on my channel that checks out my stuff and, and, uh, you know, what's happening, just message me your, your VR chat username and I'll make sure you get an invite. It is, uh, invite only. And, uh, just to, to give you an update, I went and picked up a quest too, just to kind of see what it was all about. And, um, now I understand why it's invite only because when you, if you get it in VR chat, it's like mostly kids or uh, adults that are just like either drunk or high, you know, it's kind of funny. Um, and just people just acting weird, you know, it's like, that's what's happening most of the time. I guess uh, when you find somebody that's into what you're into and you, you actually can talk about stuff with substance, uh, then it gets cool. But yeah, for the most, I haven't found any, anybody like that. And I've been in there for like two evenings, just, just checking things out. Yeah. So that's why it's invite only. Uh, I understand why now, and hopefully you do too, if you're not into VR. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. And you don't have to have a set of goggles to join. Uh, you do need a PC that can handle the graphics. So, um, VR chat is a PC only client. Um, yeah, my, my computer couldn't, couldn't handle it. And actually he stood up there as the avatar for me, uh, while my stuff was projected behind him. So yeah, um, you know, just workarounds, but that's just the first of many events to come. Um, he plans on throwing, many more events. I think he's got another one coming up. Ohm 3 does, uh, with some other people. And, and I, th I think this is going to turn into a thing. Um, this is the future. 
happening now, I think. Um, yeah, playing in VR is, is really cool. And, and just the social interaction with everybody. The interesting thing is, is like when you're in the, in a room, you can hear very lightly. Like if somebody's far away, you can very, you can hear their conversation, but it's very low. Um, I will say though, on the computer in 2d, it takes all that audio and smashes it together. So it sounds like just this cacophony of, of just like, conversations and it's really distracting and not really listenable um but you can turn off the conversations and just listen to what's happening in the world and then just walk around and stuff and that's pretty cool but um with the vr goggles i think the spatial audio stuff is is much better and so like it doesn't sound just like this gaggle of people just coming at your face you know (laughs) just talking all together but um yeah so overall a really neat experience um i was talking to a dj friend and uh oh i think i mentioned this already but he was talking about the latency um yeah when if the music's coming from inside the world and you're moving stuff that's inside the world the latency is probably terrible and not usable um but what i was from what, what we were all all doing we were doing everything in in the real world and then that gets piped into the the vr world i think that makes more sense and uh that's totally usable and doable um so some interesting things though like when i say this is the future i mean it's it's already happening because there's already a an ultra club like ultra records has a club um so they're probably throwing events already i've heard of uh what was it marshmallow what did a did an event in Fortnite? um i just read the other day someone said something about uh someone did an event in minecraft which makes it more accessible so you could have xbox whatever uh mac pc and you could still join in um i don't think the experience is quite the same i'd have to try it out the the social aspect of it is really important because if you think you know you go to an event you know you're not just there just for the music you're there to have a good time and and socialize and meet new people and hang out with friends and talk and you know that's that's pretty cool um and that's a pretty critical part of the whole club thing um so i'm not sure if minecraft is 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 on par with the VR chat in that regard, but, uh, I'm excited to, to check it out and find out. Um, yeah. Cause really it, it almost doesn't matter. I mean, it, it does matter. Like if the world looks like Minecraft or if it looks like an actual place or like a cool VR place. But I think the most important part is, is that music is being piped through, um, uh, and that, you're around other people and you can talk to people. I think that's the the most important part when it comes to this VR uh, clubbing thing. So, yeah, really interesting, cool stuff happening. Uh, I mean, I'm looking into building a room myself, which is uh, uh, I've messed with Unity before. It's built in Unity, by the way. And then, uh, yeah, so just like putting a room together and instead of just streaming to YouTube uh, just stream as we normally do, but also pipe it through the, the VR world. Um, so people can be in there interacting and talking, you know, so it's not just this, this typing back and forth. Um, you can actually have conversations with people, which is really, really cool. So, all right. So that's, what's coming in the future. Just wanted to debrief on that VR thing. Uh, check out that video. Um, one thing to note is that you can't see everybody that's in the room cause all the avatars, I don't think all the avatars render. It just depends on, uh, the polygon count of the avatars. Cause even in quest in quest two, like I can't see PC avatars. I think you have to have to like actually click the person and show avatar. So like, you know, there's more people in there than it looks like. It looks like there's maybe about 10, 15 people in there, but I think there's more like 50 to a hundred, but, um, yeah. Anyway, so thanks again. Uh, see you next time.